to you, mate. So that's the first time we ever saw Grave Leader talk. Now, isn't it funny that once he's done that, the guy's just like, yeah, all right, mate, cheers. Like, like he'd asked him the directions to the bus stop. You know what I mean? Something very sort of unimportant. Not the fact that he's just been beaten up by the police. So that straight away... I thought was quite weird. Um, what happened to you, mate? Well, uh, turn around and said to them, pay for prices, what are you doing? What? Smash me in a way. Smash me in a way. Oh, mate, cheers. Smash me in the face with a bat. Button, he corrected himself. Then he smiled afterwards like he's happy that he's done the interview. You know what I mean? And then if you carry on looking, you'll see other people here smile and laugh as well. Like him, yeah? Now remember that what they're trying to tell you that it's the police are brutal. And they're going around beating up people. And then you've got people like Tyrant Finder laughing and smiling. You've got the guy who just asked Grey Bleeder what happened to him. And then he goes, all right, mate, cheers. Yeah. Sorry, if this was real, this isn't the behaviour that you would be showing, my friend. What happened to you, mate? With a bat, bat him. What happened to you, mate? Now look behind him. The guy in the Adidas with the blue gloves, for some reason wearing blue gloves, yeah? He also supposedly got hit, and I've shown you footage of him with blood pouring down his face. Isn't it funny that he's right behind this one as well, who also supposedly got hit. But this one decided to put his hood over the, over the, the, the so-called injury, yeah? Look at his face, smiling. Now, if you'd been beaten up by the police, would you just stand around there giving interviews or would you go and seek medical aid? If you're this man, you stand around giving interviews to people. Why do you do that? Oh, yeah, because you're undercover and you know that this is all a staged event and you're going to be putting the Daily Mail in a few hours as well. What happened to you, mate? Oh, mate, cheers. Oh, mate, cheers. All right, mate, cheers. Yeah, yeah, see you next week, mate. Yeah, what, what? The bus to Piccadilly, yeah? Number 10, yeah. Cheers, mate. Yeah, see you later, mate. And the, the guy who I told you about who was telling everyone to stand up while everyone wanted, wanted to sit down when the police were charging, uh, he's just there chilling, talking to people on his phone. What happened to you, mate? Well, uh, turn around and said to them, pay for prices, what are you doing? What? Smash me in a way. Bah. Bah. Oh, mate, cheers. And you can see right there, you've got Tyrant Funder and No Resistance GB there, inches away from each other. So even back then, they were basically, uh, yeah. See that smirk? Does that look... Did that smirk look like someone who's been brutally oppressed by the police? Let's have a look. One sec. There you go, beautiful, there you go. Well, I wouldn't say beautiful, no, but you know what I'm saying. There's a money shot. Does that guy there look, Tyrant Funder, do you look like you're being brutally oppressed by the police, like you've just watched your fellow man being smashed up, blood dripping down his face, or do you look like you're having the time of your life?
How strange. <laughs> yeah, funny that. And then you've got Resistance she B with like the biggest ever Union Jack flag. He's already eight foot tall, but he had to have a flag um, that was visible from Mars. Yeah. I think I'm going to stop now, guys. I'll get wound up watching these snakes. Um, but the good thing is they've exposed themselves time and time again. Like I said, does Tyrant Thunder really look here now like he's actually in the middle of a sort of tense situation doesn't to me one sec trying to get it when the bottle drops Isn't it funny though how Tarrant Thunder and Grey Bleed are so close to each other there? Almost like they're working for the same organisation. And then when you look at Tarrant Thunder there where the bottle drops and he takes his concentration away, again he doesn't really look like he's any in any kind of intense situation. The police who are with him look like they couldn't give a damn. Um, it just looks so fake and staged. And the fact that when this guy says, oh, I got hit with a bat, a button, and then the other guy goes, all right, cheers, mate. <laughs> Pathetic. Man. You can tell it's staged, just from this. What happened to you, mate? Cheers. 